The concept of a railgun instantly giving targets from a long range has been a dream in the eyes of many scientists, gamers, and the military. Yet, as of recent years, the concept has been making rounds into reality as a feasible weapon system. A railgun is a fixed electromagnetic weapon system designed to propel an explosive, unguided, dense projectile at extreme velocities from a parallel conductor along a barrel, with damage being primarily inflicted by kinetic energy rather than an explosive payload. The railgun would be an advantageous system for land and sea warfare, as well as for defensive applications, as due to the extreme muzzle velocity of a rail projectile, it would be optimal for engaging in long distance air threats such as cruise missiles or sea skimming missiles, as the railgun would be able to fire upon a missile and hit it far before it could reach the ship or installation. Being that the velocity of a rail projectile would be around 2500 meters per second and a conventional rifle would fire around 930 meters per second, a definite speed advantage. A number of other factors also come into play with railguns, especially from a military viewpoint. The ammunition would contain no propellant, would be safe to handle, and would give no issues to logistic systems in place. Not mentioning that they would be far lighter, a greater amount could be carried, and the cost would be drastically lowered in comparison to conventional ammunitions. Railguns would also provide no harm to the crew operating them, as there is no explosive reaction upon firing. However, with the many benefits, there are also many current drawbacks to this technology. Railguns have been shown to be so strong that wear and tear is a significant factor. When in 2014, the Office of Naval Research experimented with a railgun, with range tests showing that the barrel life of a railgun would be around 400 shots before it would need replacement. And that is not even being fired at full power. Far under the demanded life of at least 3,000 rounds to be considered for operational usage. Upon initial theorization, another difficulty faced is the energy usage. Primarily, railguns being so highly powered, the energy required for a single railgun would be enough to power half a Chicago, leading to the need of its own electrical generator. Cooling of the entire system would also have to be created in order to be effectively preventing the railgun from reaching intense levels of heating. As with every shot, the electrical current passing through the conductor would cause dangerous levels of heat, especially when fired in rapid succession. With these obstacles in place, the feasibility of a railgun in combat conditions is put into question. So while the idea of infantry handheld railguns firing high velocity insta-gibs is still unfeasible, there may be a future for railguns on a larger scale.